Hi folks, how are you today? Nice to see you again. Uh, first, today I have to apologize. I have been asked again and again to do a video about uh, setting up the Sharps gate for specific angles and I just haven't gotten it done. And so today I just got everything spread out here and I'm going to get this video put together and, and get it out on the web and so I can get these questions answered. Um, the technique I'm going to use today uh, is really a very simple one and it's basically just a stop block. And so in short, what I'm going to do is um, set up a block that allows me to repeatedly set up the sharp skate every time exactly the same. And that's what this is. I just made a little simple one here and it just extends out and stops. So the way I'm going to make it today um, is just a little more complicated than that. I'm going to use an angle finder, a digital angle finder. So we'll take the blade and we'll put it into the sharpscape. I will find the center, and, and it, it doesn't have to be perfectly on center. It can be one or two clicks, you know, left or right of center. And I just snug it up slightly. So now the sharp skate will, um, with, with a blade like this, that's very parallel and square. This is a Lee Nielsen number four. So it's a, a very simple square parallel blade. And the sharp skate will hold it, you know, very accurately. Um, a, a Japanese blade that is wedge shaped will work the same way, but take a little more, um, a little more time to set up, but we'll just snug it in here. And then I will take the digital angle finder, turn it on. We'll put it right on the workspace there and zero it. And now I'll be able to, it just clamps right on there and I'll be able to tilt it up. And you can see that it's 23 degrees, 28, 29, uh, 26.8, there we go, 27.6. So raising and lowering or extending the blade in and out will adjust the, um, the angle uh, in relation to the back of the blade. So it's measuring, it's measuring the angle from the back of the blade back this way. So right now it's a low angle and I just loosen it here and pull it up, 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 up. It gets steeper and we can go up to a very, very steep angle. There's 33 degrees. We're getting taller, you know, 35, 36, you know, 36, 4. So that's really quite steep. Um, I like to set up a tool generally at 27 degrees. I, I think 27 degrees is a good sort of zero angle. And now we'll put the angle gauge on there. What does it say? Well, my eye's off a little bit. That's 25, 6, there's 26.9, 20. We just snug it just a little more. There we go. 27.1. That's pretty good. But we'll start with that. So I've put the, the, the tool in, and I'm just going to square it up good and make sure it's nice and secure and snug it up a little bit. And we'll check it one more time just to see what we ended up with. What is that? 26.9 degrees? Yeah, so we're basically 27 degrees. Very, very close. So I'll just tighten that down a little more. 
And now what I have is a piece of plexiglass. Now you could use plywood for this. You could use, you know, a variety of materials. You could make it out of aluminum for that matter. It just, you know, gets complicated and time consuming. I, I like to work with plexiglass for uh, jigs. Um, it's just really easy. You cut it, break it just like glass, just like a sheet of glass. And I've got a bunch of little pieces here. So we'll take this one and I'm just going to clamp it to my work surface, just, just like I was clamping it to my bench. So now it's, it's good and secure. And we've already, you know, set the skate up here at, what did we say, 20, 26.9 degrees. And I like to set up the skate. You can do it either way. You can set up the skate with the blade down or with the edge up. And I prefer with the edge up, only because if you put the blade down, it might just get under your stop block just a little bit. But that, you know, doesn't really matter. So you, you can do it either way you're comfortable with. But it's also, you know, puts the knob up here on top for adjusting in a little better position. So I'm just going to put my, my tool right here. You can see it just, just hooks right over the edge of the um, plexiglass. And I'll put my stop block here and test. Everything looks good. Now we'll put a little super glue on the stop block. Doesn't take much. And I'll use a little bit of accelerant because um, when you use the accelerant, it just sticks right down and there's just no moving around. So I'll put the tool in place and I have the, um, the block here ready to go. And when I stick it down, it's going to stick. So I'll put it right up against the tool and set it right down. And with that accelerant in place, it's not going anywhere. And so it's basically stuck now. The, the glue says 10 seconds, and that's without the accelerant. So when you add the accelerant, you know, it's really very, very quick. So it's done. We've, we've stuck that on there. And I can see when I put it on the, the stone that, you know, it's set up the way we set it up. And I can remove it from the skate. Take it out. Put it back in the skate. Snug it up. And now all I have to do is push. See, I, I started a little long. So I have to slide forward. I just push the edge right up against the stop and then push the tool right up to it and snug it and, and it's there. And it's gonna be in exactly the place you want it. And, you know, I'll just take a, um, a little uh, sticker stock here. I'll put a sticker on top of it. And what did we say? 26.9. So I'll just write that on here. Degrees. And now I can set the sharp skate up to 26.9 degrees again and again and again. It's just that easy. And again, you can do this in whatever material you like. I, I just find that you know, plexiglass is really simple. Drill a hole in it, hang it on the wall. You know, you can have them go all the way around and you can set them up for whatever angle you like. I hope this helps. Have a great day.